share a delicious meal for the family to enjoy. Dinner time! Dinner time! Okay, you want to play hardball. when he does that. Coming! So, what country is it tonight? It's my Tuscany pimento loaf! Ew! We mean... Mmm! We can eat once Johnny gets here. Johnny, get in here! Chalabunga! Ugh, what's that horrible smell? Dad's Tuscany pimento meatloaf. Yeah, I think I'll pass on dinner, Dad. And read about Tuscany later. Very funny! Not! Now stop skateboarding and sit down. Oops. Wow, a full five seconds before he knocked anything over. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have clean pants on. Hey, it's not my fault your pants were so absorbent. That's something we should work on. Yeah, Dad. Had your pants been made of a less porous material, we could have wrung them out and saved the milk. Oh, let's just eat. Boo, ice cream man. Huh? No dessert until everything on that plate is eaten, mister. I'm gonna need a lot of ketchup. <laughs> Johnny! How many times have I said don't reach? Ask for things to be passed to you. I don't know. Well, counting tonight, just under two million. That's actually less than I thought. Now let's try and eat in peace. So, I heard this funny joke at the grocery store today. There's this monkey in a rowboat, and he sees it. That's it! Why is using your manners at the dinner table so difficult for you? Because dinner is so boring. How would you know? You never sit still long enough. One night, is that too much to ask? Oh, who am I kidding? I bet you couldn't even do it for one night. I totally could. Yeah, I don't think so, sweetheart. You think you could just sit there and not spill, burp, mini vomit, make a gross comment, or destroy anything at tomorrow's dinner? And eat whatever's put in front of you? Piece of cake. Can we just eat and get this over with? And if I do it and win the bet, you have to do my homework for a week and buy me ten new video games. And when I win, you clean your room for a year and yell from the rooftop for everyone to hear that you love my meatloaf. Deal! Oh, this can't be good. Okay, that's everything we need for a practice run at tonight's dinner. I am so gonna beat him. See? Training good. At least it didn't break. <laughs> Oops, sorry, dog. I'll get it. You should start cleaning your room now. You'll never win that bet. Or, by tonight, I'll have the ultimate device that will make me the most mannerous boy in Pork Belly. To the lab! <laughs> I am so winning this bet. Is it really that important, dear? He is a boy, after all. I had perfect table manners when I was his age. They build character and show self-restraint. He has fought monsters and stopped aliens from taking over the world. You're right. And then I'll be stuck doing his homework and spending money on video games. What am I going to do? Just take back the bet. Or tonight I'll make the worst meal ever. And according to the bet, he has to eat it. <laughs> to the kitchen! <laughs> I need your help to win the bet. And what do we get out of it? Can't you just help him because you're brother and sister? No. And while you're here, do not touch the statue. This statue? Woohoo! Thanks, Johnny. You just proved our theory that if you tell someone not to touch something, they'll touch it anyway. And as a reward, we'll help you. Glad I could help. <sighs> Behold. The Manners Maker 2000. It's a robotic wristband that anticipates your destructive movement and corrects you from doing it. Tonight, you'll be acting prim and proper like an Englishman at the Queen's dinner table. Girls, if you help Johnny in any sort of way with your inventions, you'll be grounded for life. Good luck, Johnny. Time to go. Now you can start cleaning your room. No, now we go talk to the most mannered person we know. Mr. Mittens? Why is Johnny Test here? He's ruining my concentration! I'll go check, sir. Uh, I should destroy him for wrecking my perfect score! Uh, Jonathan, Mr. Dookie, won't you please come in? Johnny Test! If you came to meet your doom, you came to the right place! Say hello to my paralyzer ray! <laughs> 
that video games. I, I, I can't understand you. You're all muffled. <sighs> Maybe you should unparalyze them, sir. I need Albert to teach me about manners at the dinner table so I can get ten video games and not clean my room. Hmm, okay, I'll allow it if Albert's in. I'm in, sir. It's my duty as a proper Englishman. What? You have to give me one of the video games. Do you have to stand there? You're making me nervous. I'll be right back. All right, Jonathan. Before I can give you any pointers, I need to see what I have to work with. So, dig in. I'm sorry, but you are beyond my help. You cannot possibly win this bet. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put some salve on my burns. Okay, Johnny Test, I don't like you, but a free video game's a free video game. So let me show you something. Put this muffle napkin up to your mouth, and it'll hide any gross and uncontrollable sounds you make after eating or drinking. Sweet. What's this hose sticking out of the sleeve? It's a built-in garbage disposal. The hose feeds a collector pouch in the back. Just pretend like you're eating. Get the sleeve close to your plate, and it'll suck in all the food in a nanosecond, making it seem like you ate it. And it's completely silent. Just remember, no bones or shells. Cool. Thanks, Mittens. Just don't forget my video game. You got it. And I am so gonna win this bet with Dad. <laughs> Thinks he can beat me. Well, wait till he meets the worst meal in the world. Dinner! Dinner! <laughs> Mother, sisters, father. Ooh, don't you look handsome, Johnny. You're so going down, honey. Dressing for dinner is such an overlooked ritual. Thought I'd swank the place up. Why don't you have a seat, Johnny? With pleasure, father. And I look forward to your menu this evening. Wow, two seconds in and he didn't knock anything over. Impressive. Yes, but as the rules stipulate, can Johnny eat everything on his plate and make it through dinner without burping or making a gross comment? Bring it on. No, it's brung. Sparkling water, your favorite. For burping the alphabet, that is. Huh? Hmm. That's Johnny 2, Dad 0. Well, let's eat, shall we? Spaghetti and meatballs. Wow, that actually looks great, Dad. Yes, please pass me a spoon. Please? Well, you have been practicing, but you're not eating that. You're eating my Japanese meatloaf with octopus and sea urchin. <laughs> so you're not going to eat? Like a shipwrecked man. I was just thinking about how good it looks. You eat with your eyes first. Could you please pass me the salt, Dad? <laughs> huh, it didn't need salt, because it was delicious. Wow, that's Johnny 3, Dad Zero. Oh. Round two, liver soup with noodles and Brussels sprouts. Um, livery. I can't believe Johnny's actually eating all that. Better him than us. And for dessert, frog leg ice cream. Huh? I think you should tell him you're full and quit while you're ahead. I can't. I have to eat everything he puts on my plate, remember? Pate with oysters. <laughs> Pat's Casino with escargot. <laughs> T-bone steak roly-polies with a jam of scallops, cockles, abalone, periwinkle, and quail eggs. Try this, Mr. I'm Eating Everything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's all calm down now. Calm down? You calm down! I am not losing this bet. I am not doing... Uh, what was that strange noise? Uh, the uh, sound of my satisfied stomach. Stomach, 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 stomach. Tuxedo disposal! That explains it! That's it! I have had enough of this insanity! Look at this mess! Yeah, but he started, started it! He... I don't want to hear it! You're both responsible! Johnny, would it be too much to keep your elbows off the table? Excuse yourself after burping and ask for things instead of reaching for them? No. And dear, we're not sitting with the Queen of England. Can you not be such a stickler about manners? Lighten up a little and maybe choose ingredients for your around-the-world meatloafs that this family would actually enjoy eating? Yes. <sighs> now this is a peaceful and delicious dinner. Good loaf, Dad. Best ever. Thank you. Good one. <laughs>